Hello, my name is Brett Peterson. I'm a member of the Advanced Endoscopy Group at the Mayo Clinic, and today I'm visiting with my colleague Andrew Storm from our group regarding his uh, recently published paper in GIE entitled Acute and Early EOS Guided Transmural Drainage of Symptomatic Postoperative Fluid Collections. Andy, why did you do this study? Percutaneous drainage has been the mainstay of therapy for postoperative fluid collections. Mm -hmm. We've increasingly moved towards internal drainage for other disease processes like Waldorf necrosis, like peripancreatic and pancreatic fluid collections. Mm -hmm. And so we've been providing this uh, to our surgeons now for quite some time. We've seen that we've actually moved earlier and earlier in the patient's course to providing this drainage. The retroperitoneal space seems to be very forgiving. Um, we can use double pigtail stents. Uh, to drain what is usually just a purely fluid collection. We wanted to describe our experience, particularly focusing on the advantages of providing early, early drainage. Okay. okay. Can you relate the major findings of the study? 75 patients underwent EOS-guided postoperative drainage. 42, or 56%, were early, or within 30 days of surgery, of whom 20 were acute, or within 14 days of surgery. 63, or 84%, had undergone distal pancreatectomy, and technical success was 100% across all groups. Clinical success was achieved in 70 patients, or 93%, after a mean of 2.2 procedures. Specifically, clinical success was 94% in the delayed group, 93% in the early drainage group, and 95% in the acute group. Necrosectomy was required less often when collections were drained acutely. Owing to the high clinical success rate, no predictors of clinical success were identified, Early and acute drainage were not predictors of adverse event, and only infected collection and collection diameter greater than 10 centimeters correlated with increased adverse event risk. Well, that's very interesting. What does the study add to our existing knowledge? We know that uh, traditionally management of these patients is percutaneous, yep. and that that allows us to provide uh, both negative pressure or suction to the collection and allows us to drain collections that are not very mature or walled off. And mm -hmm. traditionally, the thought process has been that those should not be drained transluminally. Uh -huh. What our series finds is that um, that's not the case, that actually these can be managed acutely before they're matured, these fluid collections, across the wall of the stomach or small intestine. And it seems to be very effective even in the absence of negative pressure or suction. Furthermore, the use of more <coughs> novel uh, lumen-opposing metal stents was utilized even in some of the very early drainage, uh, mm -hmm. drainages of collections and, and was effective and safe. I mean. And the major benefit as opposed to a percutaneous drainage approach? Is certainly a reduction in the risk of percutaneous fistulization. Mm -hmm. Certainly a, uh, it's a patient preference to have less tubes mm -hmm. and drains coming through the skin. Right, okay. What should be done next? What, what is remaining to be done? I think one of the big concerns uh, and one of the uh, reasons for, for doing this study in our group was to look at the cost effectiveness and effectiveness of different drainage paradigms. Certainly we know that lumen opposing metal stents are not inexpensive and in thinking through kind of cost stewardship, um, we wanted to know whether there was any difference for our patients, whether we provided transmural drainage with a lumen opposing metal stent or with double pigtail plastic stents. There seems to be up front, no big difference between the two, but that's something that will require further study. In the future. Furthermore, the ideal technique, be it uh, percutaneous drainage up to a certain point and or double pigtail or uh, lumen opposing metal stent use for drainage of collections needs to be further elucidated. Okay. Well, congratulations on this study. I look forward to more data to